Good evening, I'm Hugh Downs, and this is 2020. On the ABC News Magazine, 2020 tonight. All their lives, they've been honorable citizens, kept clear of the law, and now, in their golden years... You've been charged with shoplifting or retail theft, sir, can you... Or how do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. We've heard a lot about juvenile delinquents, but tonight, in a sad and troubling story, Geraldo Rivera tells us about some of our parents and grandparents who have become the elderly delinquents. Seven years ago, he was one of the most powerful men in the world, but then he was accused of corruption and forced to resign as Vice President of the United States. Tonight, in an exclusive interview with Barbara Walters, Spiro Agnew insists he was framed and gives his views on honesty in high office. Honesty is uh, different things to different people. Now, he's a successful businessman, but is he planning a political comeback? The answer to that question will come tonight in the first television interview about his resignation seven years ago. Sparrow Agnew talks to Barbara Walters. She had four children by the time she was 18. She worked as a housekeeper, and her husband was forced to work two jobs so they could survive. When I had my first baby, my second baby, I played with them like they were dolls. I would dress them four or five times a day, you know, and just played with them. Then I began realizing it wasn't, I wasn't playing house. <laughs> it was the real thing. Now she's the real thing. Loretta Lynn, the coal miner's daughter, who earns more than a million dollars a year. From a cabin in the hills to the top of the charts, Sylvia Chase profiles the queen of country music, Loretta Lynn. I looked at Rabbit, Chevette, and Civic. But once I looked at this new Mazda GLC, that's all it took. Just one look. That's all it took. Yeah, just one look. That's all it took. I really like Mazda GLC's great standard features. And it's great mileage. I also like the looks of its nice low price. Yeah, the more you look, hey, the more you like. Up front tonight, do we know, do we really know, those of us who aren't there yet, what it's like to be old. Can we imagine the loneliness, the terror of watching time pick off our contemporaries and pass us by? Can we feel the desperation of being robbed of our savings and our hopes by the surge of a pitiless economy? Do we understand the pressures that drive some of our elders after honorable lives to small and shameful acts of crime? Geraldo Rivera is with us tonight with a report we must see on an aspect of aging in America we might prefer to keep hidden. Geraldo? You, as we know, one of the harsh facts of life is that old people, precisely because they're vulnerable and often defenseless, are frequently the victims of crime. But this report is the opposite of that familiar theme. This is a story about old people who commit crimes. This is a report on elderly delinquency. How, how would you... How would you guys like to go on a stick-up with me? In the recent film Going in Style, Art Carney and Lee Strasberg agreed with George Burns to relieve the boredom of their old age by committing a bank job. What was that? But this was make-believe. I said, how's it? Uh, Your Honor, I went in there to get some uh, garden, garden tools. Garden and, tools? Yeah, yes. they didn't have what I wanted, so I was walking out. And I see this thing, I don't know why I took it. I couldn't use it if I didn't.